What's up, what's up, YouTube family? It's your boy, WF. And first things first, just regard me a little bit. I look a little homeless. I've been grinding the game for mad long. I haven't slept. I'm trying to find offense and defense to get it to you guys. So if you guys appreciate the work, go ahead, drop a sub for your boy. I'd greatly appreciate it. But this video right here is showing you guys the best offensive play that I have personally found so far in College Football 25. Um, this play, it's dope. You can run it without making any adjustments. And I'm gonna show you guys some really easy adjustments and a dope tell, a really good tell, that you can get one play touchdowns against this play, against um, cover three defenses. So the play that I'm gonna take a look at, it's from the gun trips formation, and it's the smash play. Now I'm gonna link in the description all of the playbooks that this play is found in so you don't gotta search for it to make your lives a little bit easier. So this is what the play looks like when you break the huddle. You really wanna run it from the left hash, guys. Um, but I'm gonna show you guys that this play is just really dope without making any adjustments and I'm getting into the adjustments a little bit you know, after, a little bit later in the video. So this is what the play looks like. Uh, came out in cover three, as you guys can see. You really wanna run this on the left hash, guys. So cover three, you literally can just snap the ball and throw it to your corner out. Easy dot. You have to. You don't gotta do anything to it, guys. We're gonna flip into cover two. Show you guys how it goes against cover two. You really want to hit that corner. I love, and the reason why this works so well against both cover three and cover two is that that a wide receiver route. He still pulls. He pulls that uh, outside corner. He's able to influence him. So you're able to get those open. And then you got that little um, sit down route by your B wide receiver, which you can't see right now. Um, he kind of pulls the uh, the curl flat in cover three, and the cloud flat in a uh, Tampa two pulls him down. Now this play is still even good against man coverage, guys. So I'm gonna hop into cover one hole, and I just want to simulate this so you guys can see that this A wide receiver route. He's really good against um, man coverage in general. So I'm going to blitz my safety right here. I just want to show you guys, like, if you get, like, a, a, a zero blitz situation, you can still hit A deep. His route wins. So I just want to show you guys that. His route wins against man coverage. And I don't want to go through every single route against man coverage, but you still have Y, Y's route, beats man coverage and x if you have the right matchup beats man coverage as well so man coverage and zone coverage is handled without even having to make any adjustments to this play which is great for one if you're in a situation where you're in the crowd noise and you're, you're the away team and you can't make your adjustments on offense you can't hot route that's really why i really like this play for one and two let's talk about the one play touchdown scenarios from this play and I'm gonna touch I'm gonna show you how you can um get a tail so you can set it up even easier guys so you have a one play situation against cover three so we're in cover three defense right now and then all you have to do which I love all you got to do is streak RB this is what what your play should look like it doesn't matter what any of these other guys are on on offense as if you streak RB, you create. Oh, A, he just got bumped. He got bumped. So I'm going to show you guys. He got bumped completely off of his route. So, yeah, he got bumped. So we're going to run it one more time. I'm just going to block the running back. Just got a little bit more time. And he fries. He fries. He fries. He fries for an easy one play touchdown against cover three. You're streaking this guy to hold the attention and kind of pull this guy a little bit, allowing you to pass lead hard to the left for the easy touchdown. It doesn't matter what any of the other routes on the field are, guys. We're going to set it up one more time. Again, I'm just going to block the running back just for added protection. There we go. Easy one play touchdown scenario. Now, 
let's get into um, other ways you can set this up. So you could do that same setup. You can block your, you can keep your running back on his route or, and you can, um, or you can block him and then you can put B on a little under route, a little drag. So you have a nice little underneath route. If they want to run with your one play touchdown for one and two, you could set it up the same way, streak your RB, put Y on a wheel route. And now you can just hit Y really quickly out the backfield and get them to play up. And that'll give you even more space to, uh, to have that one play touchdown scenario. But what I like more than anything, guys, is this little tell if they're in cover three, if you motion your running back to the left side and they don't have their shell adjustments on on defense, that safety rotates down. So that he's going to rotate down if it's cover one or cover three. Now, what's really dope about this, again, we, can still, we still have our one play set, touchdown set up, which we can run. And nothing changes. Hopefully I have time. There we go. You got the one play touchdown setup, guys. But what makes this even doper? Oh, motion them a little bit too far. You still have the ability to hit Y quick out the backfield. If they're not playing hard flats, he's going to be open every single time. The only way to shut that down is if the defense plays underneath and go, instead of having curl flats on the outside, have hard flats. That's the only way that that stops that, guys. And then that's that still opens up. You still have the um, availability to hit A on your one play touchdown. And for whatever reason, he didn't. He just had a bad release, bad throw. But you still have your underneath routes available as well guys and what's even colder is you can do this motion your running back to the left of the quarterback i'm just tapping the button too much guys a cool thing is if you tap it again tap the button again while he's in motion he'll motion to the outside left which is dope but so you, let's say you get that that um rotation down from the uh from the safety giving you this look right here Let's say you really are just hell-bent on trying to see if you can take the top off of their defense. Block your running back. You can put your X, Y receiver. You can put him on a curl route. You still have the ability to hit that one play touchdown to A with X being on a curl route. And then what I also like is put B on a drag. And so if it's cover three, you have the ability to hit the right side of the field. You have your one play touchdown and you have B running underneath. Whole ton of room for him. But if they're in man coverage, guys, if they're in man coverage, they rotate down, but they're playing cover one or whatever. Put X on a curl. Everything's still set up the same. You can just see if it's man to zone, and then you still have an easy curl route against man coverage. So you have a you have a read for everything. And then what makes this even doper? Let's say you want your running back on a wheel route. You can hit him out the backfield really quickly against cover two and cover three. You can do a lot with this play, guys. And like I said, you can just come out with this play and not make any adjustments. And still have good reads. Still have open players to throw the ball to. So I appreciate all of y'all that watch my videos. If you liked it, hit the sub. I'll be trying to hit you guys with a new video every single day. It's WF. I'm out.